FTV or Ball Deep here. Um, I know you've just like us have travelled a long way for this game. You came in today um, from England, and you know, you turned up. The team didn't. Yeah, Did they? No, it's fair enough. So um, I've listened attentively to everyone and what they've said. I want to raise a few points here. I'll start off with a bit of perspective. We were at, 10 months ago, we were in Singapore, high hopes. We had really you know, high hopes. What did we want? We wanted improvement. Mm. Yeah. So at the end of the season, what has Emre done for us? He's got seven points higher than where we were in the league. We were only one point behind Tottenham and we're in a cup final. Yeah, Atletico Madrid hurt big time last year, but we're in a cup final. Yeah, I don't want to detract about how bad our performance oh, was. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Let, let me just say yeah. that. Yes, you can say that. So yeah. in a way, yeah. putting it like that, we've improved. But then how many times have you seen Arsenal just fall yeah. apart? Like, not not just this season, every season for about the last five years, God, right? Basic and it's still the same. Yeah. Nothing's changed when it comes to how we defend, how we set up. Yeah. We are the most easiest club to score against. Probably only Cardiff and those teams in the Premier League yeah. are easier to score against yeah. than us. Yeah. It's no. poor. No, so if you think about it... We like, ain't improved in that aspect, No, we? no, we, our away form is shit. Yeah, our so that ain't improved. Shit. That has improved. But go on, if I take, take, take some positives, because I, I know we're all negative here and I'm trying to keep it balanced, you know. We've all flown long, long journeys, lots of flights. You know, some had the luxury of direct flights, but go on. Lots of people travel from all over the world. And I respect that because we all love our club. But we are better in the league. There's going to be always going to be one to two teams disappointed at the end of the season because they won't get Champions League. And this year it's Man United and Arsenal. We had our chance, we blew it. Yeah, the better team won. Yeah, and I, I and the fair enough. Yeah, go on. 60 minutes in, the guy sitting next to me goes to me. Do you realise we've not even had a shot on target? We don't deserve to be Champions League football. We just don't. Our league performance at the last few games, I met you in Brighton, we sat there and I thought, come on, Duffy and Dunk are playing, you know, defending like whatever. And, you know, just, go on, we can pinpoint lots of little individual things and misses and whatever. The reality is, over a course of a league season, over a course of this Europa League, we don't deserve Champions League football. Emery, I'm backing him. And the reason why? Because... We've got He's to been in charge in yeah. this falling apart. We've got to give him time, yeah? Mm. I remember at the start of the season, what was he made famous for? We were always behind, but he came back, yeah? His substitutions, they were like, wow, okay, you'll put three people on after half time, and then he turned the results around. What? Where's that gone now? That's just disappeared, yeah? And, and that, that, Do you hear what that guy said, though, yeah. about these lot, Chelsea, how they yeah. change managers all the time? Yeah. And they're getting success. On, is I, it something we need to look into or are you just saying no 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 we're not that club yeah i don't don't get me wrong wenger was too long and we we, we allowed that but go on we've got to jürgen klopp three to four years yeah he's been in the club. he hasn't won a trip he might win on one this weekend but he's had money yeah he's had money he's had time and he hasn't won anything yeah this was emery's cup no one's mentioned this today this was emery should be the most experienced person he knows how to win this trophy this was his trophy something didn't work out. We had a good drink earlier today at the, uh, at the hotel and we saw the Chelsea bus go off while we were having our drinks and then about, you know, go on, quarter past nine, the t Arsenal coach leaves. That's an hour and 45 minutes with a half an hour travel time to the game. My son's eight-year-old team doesn't go that early. You, you, you have a bit of time to prepare. I don't know what happened here today, yeah? Maybe it's 11 o'clock. I'm not going to make any excuses in this, but something wasn't right. Yeah, I've never seen a team coach leave so late. So, go on, you know, I'm disappointed. We're all gutted. You know, that's fine. You know, it, it, Sonny, my cousin, he said, look, there's lots of people who need to be stand up and taken accounted for, be accountable. That's all going to have to happen. I've got to give Emery a little bit more time. You know, Klopp's had three to four years. He's had some money, he's had some backing. He might win something, he might not. Yeah, but everyone says Klopp's taken the club and improved. We talked about signings, yeah? If we won today, we could have had people coming to us because of champions. We've got no lure anymore. Who's going to want to come to us with Europa League football? You know, where Ryanair might fly off to some random fucking country somewhere over there somewhere. We've got, we don't have that anymore. You know, otherwise we could have been sitting there saying, Harry Maguire, come over to here. You know, certain key players, we need defenders. It's just shambolic, yeah? But there's, We've got to build, you know, like I say, we've improved from last season. It shows how shit we were last season. Let's just rebuild and just give them some time. But yeah, you know, I, I'm not with the Emery out people at the moment. That's just too premature.